a series recently came out from Mint.com called Superbizer. Obviously the words perv is what's being emphasized here and Bu Reed is the person who's playing the supervisor himself. He's hiring three guys from a really sexy male cleaning service to clean his home. Let me emphasize that Bu is playing the white collar kind of supervisor and he is completely inappropriate which makes these three scenes so incredibly awesome. In the first scene Teddy Torres is the first worker to show up. Maybe because I like Teddy so much this was my favorite scene out of all. Bu doesn't hold back at all. He's feeling Teddy up and he's looking at his uniform saying that he wants to change it, which he does and I love the build up in this scene. In fact, this probably got me more hard watching him do all of this stuff rather than the actual splacking that took place after. I mean, I love the grunts that Teddy gives throughout this. Like, there's a certain point where Bue just grabs his junk and you can hear him kind of moan out. Seriously, this was fucking badass. Bue is the bottom in this scene. In fact, he's the bottom for all three of these scenes. In the second scene, Ethan chases the cleaner and it looks like he's already wearing the short shorts that were pre-approved by Bue. Either Reed is a very tall guy or Ethan is a very short guy, but regardless, I like the size difference between these guys. This scene is totally worth it, if anything, just because we have a stealth fuckers element to it. What that means is that a guy is having some sort of sexual thing happening to him in front of someone else without that other person knowing what's happening. The third cleaner is William Sawyer, and he makes a cameo appearance briefly, as Ethan is being blown under the table by Reed. And they did it perfectly too, Ethan still had the top portion of his uniform on, so it gave the illusion that nothing was really happening while everything was happening. I completely and totally just everywhere watching that part. The whole stealth fuckers element is a sexual bucket list item that I've yet to do, but I've always wanted to. Again, in this scene, I want to emphasize that Bue Reed is the bottom. In the third and final scene, there's a four-way action with all three of the different cleaners with Bue. You would think that this would be my favorite scene, being that it had four different guys all together, but there was really no build-up to it. He just kind of called them up to his room, and then they just all went at it. Which, for the whole sexual aspect, if you're not looking for any type of story, it was still worth it. And they all switched up partners, and Bue was the bottom for almost all of them at one point. That was pretty darn great. Overall, all three scenes were great. The first one was by far my favorite, the second was my second favorite, and the third one being that it had a foursome and everything, gets some extra brownie points, but still it does come in third, at least in my own personal opinion. I'll say it one more time, I love Teddy Torres and I'm glad that he returned for the third scene. And Bue Reed makes a perfect white collar pervy supervisor. I'll leave it at that, even if you're not interested in the story aspect for these scenes, the sex itself, that was pretty hot. If you're interested in watching these scenes, you want to go to men.com and you can watch them all from there. So thank you guys for watching me in this video. If you haven't done it yet, check out my Patreon site, check out my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stay. I'll see you guys later. Yes. Disclaimer, I will say the sexual harassment is wrong in the workplace, and I know that it is a huge problem in many different industries out there. With that said, I've never been sexually harassed myself, so I've never really experienced it. Although, I have kind of wanted to be sexually harassed here and there, but then again, most of my supervisors have either been women or straight men, so I guess I'm just not their take. Darn it.